Since 2009, prosperity in Africa has been on the rise. Despite falling safety and security, improvements in every other sub-index, particularly health and entrepreneurship and opportunity, have helped African prosperity to grow. However, when considered against its rapid economic growth, Africa has not delivered. Its growth to prosperity ratio, how much prosperity has improved given growth, trails behind both developing Asia and Eastern Europe. With growth rates falling across the continent, the future of Africa's prosperity hangs in the balance. However, the 2016 Africa Prosperity Report finds that prosperity across sub-Saharan Africa has little to do with wealth. Many low-income countries like Rwanda deliver far higher levels of prosperity than their wealth would suggest. Wealthy, oil-rich states such as Angola and Nigeria fail to deliver the prosperity their wealth would enable. The prosperity gap across Africa is not related to wealth, but to three characteristics that could help secure greater prosperity as economic growth slows. The first is the complexity of the economy. More complex economies, think wine and cars, not grapes and metal ore, tend to deliver more prosperity than expected. Less complex economies tend to deliver less. The second is good governance. Countries that over-deliver on prosperity are those with good regulation, strong rule of law, and effective governance. The third is civil liberties and free choice. Countries that deliver a lot of prosperity with their wealth are objectively and subjectively freer than those who do not. Together, these three characteristics form a strong to-do list for Africa's leaders and policymakers. Download the full report and interact with the data at www.prosperity.com.